Rabble, rabble, rabble. getting here in plenty of time for a potential morning bite and by morning I mean like true low light there is no light guys so top water wasn't a thing this morning probably just bad visibility it was cloudy last night blah 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 i don't know who knows what these bass are doing but we're gonna go out to the promised land any given morning there's two or three schools floating around they might stack up as tight as one tree or as spread out as this whole middle section of trees i mean they, they they've had kind of weird personalities lately Yesterday, for some reason, they wanted it slow rolled. I figured they weren't blowing up as much as they were swirling and chasing horizontally. So I was like, well, I'm gonna make my bait go horizontally. Sure enough, it was like throwing a, uh, it was like throwing a crankbait, you know, just I set it on a straight retrieve and they would come and just swipe at it. And there we go, there goes my line, you know? So sometimes you gotta make little adjustments like that. And that's what caught me my fish yesterday. You guys, my life jacket smells so much better. All right, you guys, I'm going to be real with you right now. These fish aren't biting, and I believe that they're not biting for three reasons. Reason number one, the wind switched directions the last couple days, and it went from blowing towards the dam and pushing bait into this lower section to blowing away from the dam. And so the last two days of that, I think has moved a lot of bait up to the middle of the lake. Number two, I think these clouds rolled in and kind of killed the uh, visibility for the bass. And when it's absolutely smoking hot and the sun's high in the sky and the water's crystal clear, that's been my most productive fishing. Had rain, this cloud cover's moved in. That leads me to reason number three, barometric pressure change has affected these fish i woke up this morning with a headache and a sore back and as much as a pressure change will affect us it affects the fish even more that's they don't, they don't have the body mass that we do they're also underneath all this water pressure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my weather app right here and i'm going to see if my theory's right a steady 1020 millibar pressure right now i don't know if you can see that so i think that might have something to do with it Right after I said that, there was a huge blow up next to this tree. Shoot, I missed it. But I'm gonna cast on top of them and see if I can't stay here for just a few more minutes. I know there's fish out here. Like I said, I, it kills me to leave them. I know they're here, but that might've been a good sign. There he was, I saw a blow up over there. Yep, 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 there he was. Yep, there's the bait right there. You see that? Oh, oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. How do I reach these fish? That was a good one.
That was a bite. Get back on there. Ooh, biggin, 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 biggin. Stay on there, fish. Biggin. I know that's a big fish. That's the one we wanted. Come on, don't come off, don't come off. Oh my goodness, that's a biggin. That's a biggin. I saw that fish, that was not a small fish. Oh my goodness, look at that thing pull. Get in the net, oh, let's go. Oh man, she's not a giant, but she will, we will, we will take her after this morning. That is called the lip piercing clinic right there, buddy. We're gonna let her go. That is a beautiful little four pounder. Get out of there, look at that, easy peasy. The bait doesn't even stand a chance. It's just getting tossed around. There he was. Ooh, got him. Oh, get, oh, that was, oh my goodness. Oh, my drag's not set tight enough, you dummy. Oh, you dummy. What'd you do this time? Oh, I hope I have him hooked good enough. Did you guys see that thing jump? We're gonna net him, get in this net. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby! That's a skinny dude. You need to go back and get some more food, dude. Go back and eat. Go back and eat. I want to catch one more good one. And then I think I'll be satisfied. Oh, look at that sun coming out just a little bit. Ooh! Giant, 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 giant. Stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, Bob, what are, you, what are you doing, Bob? What are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Stay in this boat. She might go 22. That's a haul. Stay, stay in this boat. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when you put your time in. That is a hog. Oh my goodness. We're gonna make you famous, girl. Look at that fish. Get in the water. Wow. All I can say is wow. I think that might be my... Did you see that right there? Look at what your friend's doing out there. That might be... Oh man, she'll go... What the hell? She will go 21 on the dot and I'm gonna get a picture because that's just gonna go in the in the biggins folder on my on my phone. That's just a fatty. I mean, you can't, there's no getting around that. What do you guys see that? 413. you guys we just got off the water at briary had a pretty cool morning started off not so good and i couldn't figure out the fish and i thought there might have been a conditional change that caused them to behave differently maybe there was maybe there wasn't but eventually i turned around and saw the first blow up and from there the rest is history it's always good to have that one last fish to solidify your day so i'm gonna leave here and head back into town but thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment. I'm going to be out of town for a couple of days. So hopefully once I get back into town, these fish are still willing to bite. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Hit me up. I'm always down to fish. Until next time, tight lines.